Welcome back everyone. So I'm going to start off by opening up PowerPoint from the taskbar. I'll click on PowerPoint 2013. When you are starting a new project within PowerPoint 2013, you'll notice that it brings you to this rather beautiful looking uh, display. At this point, what we're going to focus on is working with a blank template. So I'm going to choose blank presentation to get things started. For those of us creating a presentation, the title template is a great start. But this layout option isn't quite what we want. Notice how we have a click to add text for both the title and subtitle menus options down here. Well, let's just remove those. I'm going to do it a quick way by going to the home ribbon at the top left. Then I'll choose layout within the home ribbon, click on that, and then left click on blank. That way I have a blank canvas to begin with. Uh, with Office 2013, there's an improvement versus this uh, older generation when you resize your presentation. So yes, you must resize your presentation before it comes to us at the Media Center. So how do we resize your poster? We'll go to the Design tab. And within the Design tab, you will see that you have in the ribbon Slide Size. I'll click on Slide Size. And I'll choose Custom Slide Size. And I'm looking to make something that is on ZD, 22 by 34. Well, that could be either width or height, whichever one I want to be 22. So I'll make my width 22, just click, drag, and highlight, then type in 22, and I'll click, drag, and highlight, and type in 34 for the height. What you should notice is that it automatically adjusted my portrait uh, orientation because my width is 22 inches while my height is 34. I can turn that back to landscape because that is the orientation that we're working with currently by clicking on the radio button underneath slides for landscape. I'll click OK. What better way to demonstrate this than with an actual chart? So again, I have a choice maximize or ensure fit. Now if I choose to maximize what's going to happen is it's going to cut off some of the edges here as you can see in this image. Some of the edges on the left and the right will be cut off. On the other hand if I choose ensure fit it will definitely make sure that my images are in place. On the downside with the doing ensure fit my setup is actually going to appear smaller. So let's kind of see what happens. So I'm going to click on Maximize and you'll notice I definitely have my example chart within the realm and it's large, uh, almost exactly the, the way it looked prior with the size. Unfortunately there's some some differences. For example the text didn't change and it looks like it got cut off a little bit on the left. The right side doesn't look like that got affected at all. Alright, I'm going to undo this. Control Z. Click on Slide Size, Custom Slide Size. And I'm going to change this to 22 by 34. Choose Landscape. Click OK. And again, I'm back at this moment with my decision. I will choose Ensure Fit. And here you'll see that when I do that, definitely I have my material both my objects are there and I could resize both of these if necessary and place them around. You have to decide which one would you rather do. And the safest bet is actually to start off with a blank canvas altogether and already have everything sized to the poster dimension before you even begin.